Hi guys, I'm Soumya and I'm back again with another video. I hope you're all well and safe. I make a lot of bookish content on this channel, so if you are a book lover or would like to become one, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon. In today's video, I am going to review a book which was sent to me by the author, and that book is the story that made me by Sonak Chatterjee. So let's get started. The protagonist of this story is a boy named Varud who lives in Kolkata and who has shared the memories of his school life starting from class fifth through a first-person account in this book. The themes in this book are those of parental love, friendship, student-teacher dynamic, the innocence of first love, love for cricket, basically all aspects of childhood and school life. So the point of this book is to recall a time that has gone by never to return and how those days had their ups and downs and yet they were priceless wisdom and maturity only increase with time the one thing that is lost forever is our innocence during our school days everything is relatively stress free even though we don't believe that when we are in our school days we are able to dream without caring about their practicality we start loving a subject because a teacher teaches it particularly well. These things seem small when they are taking place but you only realize their value in retrospect. Since this is a story about Varut's school life, the characters in this book are his classmates from school or his friends from his school van, Radhika, Robin, Sharaya, Swagnik and Tanisha to name a few. So even though this is Varut's story, the vibe of the story is such that it can be anyone's story. Basically, if you grew up in India, then you will be able to relate to this story very easily because there are many events and incidents that take place in this book that when you read them, they seem very familiar. Another thing that happened while reading this book was that I was reminded of my own school days but I was also reminded of how my classmates used to behave. So that was very interesting. Nostalgia really hit hard while reading this book and because of that it invoked quite a lot of emotions in me. And one thing that this book has talked about is the bond that Indian kids share with their grandparents. It's extremely precious and again very very important for all of us. So this book narrates all the major incidents from Varud's school days and the lessons that he learns through all these experiences. Now we all know that our exposure to the real world begins only after our student life is over. And to be honest, school days are the most sheltered phase of anyone's life. But that does not mean that we don't have our lessons during this time period. In fact, we have many defining episodes that take place during our school life that prepare us for the world that we have to face. So this book talks about all these lessons that Varud had to go through during his school life as well. One thing that this book talks about is first love. The wave of first love that hits you during your school days is something that you are never able to forget. And I feel that a lot of readers can relate to something like this because first love or school love is a part of many people's lives, except me. I did not experience this on a first hand basis because I was way too bookish for that but I did experience it on a second hand basis as I used to see my classmates having a gala time with their childhood sweethearts. So that experience got repeated while reading this book and that was surely fun. So apart from the fact that this book is a first person account of a boy reminiscing about his school days and leaving the first love bit out, everything else for me was relatable on a first hand basis be it having a favorite teacher or getting bad marks in pre-boards and feeling stressed and guilty about it and many other events in this book all were very very familiar to me and because of that this book felt like walking down the memory lane and if you are someone who has lost touch with your childhood because of how busy life is and nobody can deny just how stressful and busy life gets. This is that book that if you pick it up, you will be reminded of your school days and you will sort of relive them because you will read about Varud's school life, but you will also be reminded of your own school days. So that is going to make you feel quite emotional because that's what happened with me while reading this book. The language of this book is easy and that's not surprising because this book is a first person account and first person accounts tend to be quite conversational in how they read and this book is no different in that regard. 
this is a relatively quick read it has 150 pages and it is a light and a breezy read the topic on which this book is based is reasonably engaging and although i won't say that this book is an absolute page turner i wouldn't call it a boring read either this book does suffer from lazy editing in terms of grammar and sentence construction i hope this is something that gets taken care of and is improved so when it comes to reading a relatable story it can also be termed as cliched it really depends on the kind of reader you are so when it comes to this book i would say that go for this book if you are one of those readers who prefer to lean towards the relatability side of the spectrum when it comes to reading a piece of content so keeping the editing issues aside, I will classify this book as a beginner friendly read. So if you are a beginner reader who is looking to read a book about school life and school days and you want to read an easy read, then this is a book that you can go for. And if you want to check this book out, then I leave the link for that in the description box. So that was my review of the story that made me by Sonak Chatterjee. The link is in the description box if you want to check this book out. So thank you for watching this video guys. If you want to connect with me on my social media then the links are in the description box. I will see you in my next video. Till then bye bye take care and stay safe.